Hello everyone, it's Metal Monster here, and we are back in Hogwarts Legacy. So I've been tinkering around with the settings. I've turned ray tracing off because my oh, word, the performance has been terrible, and it's still terrible, even when I've kind of tried to optimize the settings, but hey ho. So, we've got a new quest somewhere, haven't we? Quests. Cross ones. I kind of want to do that too. We'll do this first, even though it's like very down looked upon or whatever or it's a secret class unsanctioned fighting i like that idea and training's always good i've also tweaked the graphical settings and stuff so we'll see if it looks worse or better oh revelio Again. Here I've come from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. Did you practice a mole? Okay. As long as we're only one time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory, not for the beach. Yeah, so I've I recorded a few videos at 1080p and upscaled them to 4K, and I was like, oh, it doesn't look right. You can make it. Lucan's just over there. And I decided to, uh. You know, put it back to 2K and get uh, 4K monitors. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. I have a hot chocolate. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I kicked his ass. It's nice to hear. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Hell yeah. Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, <laughs> in cross I agree. you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along, or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Hell yeah. Get me in the ring. I can't remember how to use this let stuff, so let's uh, try not get killed. Libio Shaw. We'll make you regret signing up. Oh, okay. Bit aggressive, aren't we? Yeah, I know. I've, I've fought a few things in my time. Uh, is it that button? Oh. No, it's... Yeah, you missed there, Sebastian. I am too good. And it's not even my wand. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about it's you. It's a trainee wand. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. You're damn right. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organise these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first crossed ones victory. Well fought. What was my prize? Hope to see you back here again. Do I get a prize? I feel sorry for your next opponent. <laughs> ah, right, so we've got a quest over here, so we'll head that way. Oh, what's that? Revelio. I've seen so many memes about this game, like uh, the amount of times you have to use Revelio is quite funny. A rustic garb. Begin the quest. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. 
I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Uh, <clears throat> Has Professor Fig said anything? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details, mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Uh, Professor Ronan uh, mentioned that. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily Ooh. to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Right, cool. Um... There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. Cool. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Gotcha. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's Potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. Gotcha, I'm ready to go. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Yeah, um, I'll go with Sebastian. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No Ooh. time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Oh, a butterbeer. Revelio. Anything to loot in here? Aha, loot. What? I know. But I'm a loot. Pretty sure there's more things. Ah. I will get the unlock charm one day. Ah, there you are. Here I am. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do. And an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up. Makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. We will have you casting Ropero in no time. Okay. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Ropero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. Okay. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Revelio.
So what have I got to do? Collect flying papers? Flying papers. This is the right area. Got it. Got it. Me? Ah, Akio. Gotcha. What do you want, little one? Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Why does everyone hate you? Everyone hates you. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no-talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Sounds awful. I haven't much interest in a game that sprays you with odors. Only if you lose, which I never do. Or at least, not often. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Uh, I've done the same. I don't like the sound of these things. It sounds as if you caused the smelly situation and they responded accordingly. I didn't make the rules. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. Mm -hmm. I can't make any I'll promises. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. <gasps> I trust the preliminary... I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Oh, you have to hold forward. Cool. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Repair. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Can't jump over there yet. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Let me also. It disappeared. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for those statue things. The first year my siblings and I are all at um, let's get the map up. Oh, where's the map gone? I know, it's somewhere around it. Oh, there it is. I just want to do the quests, really. I don't really... I'll finish that stuff later. I think it'd be better if... Oh, that's weird how it does that. It says I've got more quests. What other quests have I got? Hogsmeade. Well, I want to head to Hogsmeade because that sounds good fun. And I'd like to get a wand, please. Hello. Oh, dear. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. Oh. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. 
but I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That's amazing. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around, so she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps oh. you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. If we have time. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. I can do that. Is there um Do the quests automatically change to the most recent one you just activated? Yeah, okay. I mean, the most recent one you got. Is this the library in here? I'm going to have to use Akio to get to those books. Akio. Akio! Got it. Only four more to go. Akio! They can be quite strong. I'd keep an eye you don't get one that's too mature. Let's keep a lookout. Two out of five. So we've done. Ah, oh, hey, here we go. Ah. Oh, that wasn't a book, was it? Akio! One more, I can hear it, but I can't see it. Hopefully that's not the librarian. I think it might be below me. Ah! That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Hello. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Oh, no, I'm not Here doing you that. are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Probably. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Anyone been into Alvin? Even if I can't finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. Akio! Oh, a ghost. Hello. Well, fancy meeting you here. <laughs> That's funny. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Let's go. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Ah. Uh. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. I spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. <laughs> Just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. What? <laughs> okay. 
That's funny. Why are those flowers making that noise? Strange. Looks pretty nice. I'd prefer it if it was all on ultra, well, but big. my settings. Been forest. Look. What's what? going on? Oh, see for whoa. yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? They're hippogrins. You or certainly like that? don't see that every day. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Yeah, that's absolutely. Likely all. So this is Hogmead. Hog Hogsmead. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmead. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. Well, it's just a cool looking place, isn't it? And it's not far from Hogwarts. It's not school. <laughs> so how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Dittany seeds, some spell crafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with the new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Sure thing. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Ring the bell. Ding -a -ding -a -ding -a -ding. Oh, wow. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Uh, um, hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core, ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm. Oh. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Okay, that well, one's not mine. Match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Oh, goodness. <laughs> this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. Yeah. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Oh, this one's a, a cute little guy, isn't he? Curious indeed. Are they all like tree like or something? Oh, I like. Uh, where's that splinter one? You ever watched that? Um, uh, what's it called? Oh, what's it called? Onward? And the stick in it, the staff. Like a splinter and stuff. Ten and three quarters. Let's make it. I want it small. How intriguing. Don't know what this does. Unyielding. Curious indeed. 
Where's oak? Red oak. Heartstring. So dragon heartstring that serves as core one known as producing powerful magic. Consistent magic. Uh, let's go with the dragon one. A dragon heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. What do you think? Extraordinary. Level up. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Great. Cool, I got my own wand. Sweet. Right, let's talk to Sebastian. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Aye. Let's see what else we can get up to. Um, that's not good. Definitely dodging that. Alright, let's mess you up. Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it. We'll wear him down eventually. Levio. Oh. Levio. Accio. Oh wow, I turned him into ribbons. Oh. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. Well, I'd say got help a few times. is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Repair her. I'll go and see what he wants. Lucky they didn't do more damage. I'm very good at this spell. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Oh, hello. Repair her. Yeah, 
I need to fix this house. <laughs> I feel like that's mostly associated with like time magic or something. And then it messed up the furniture over here. There we go. Good as new. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Hold on. Need a cup of tea after that. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's Wizardwear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Thanks, I guess. Head to the green screen. Gear screen. I don't really want to add that back on. Cool. Is there a sell icon? Can I sell... Because it's all a bit... It's not as good as my defense and stuff. So I could just sell it, right? Hopefully it doesn't highlight things you're already wearing. Because I'm not wearing that. Oh, I'm rich. Thank you, good sir. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. I sell even more battle-worthy items. Should you be inclined, you're most welcome to look at my shop at your leisure. These self-making cup of teas are something I envy. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. My Serona. Oh, we sent something bad. Oh, there's a flappy bird around there. Oh, no. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student. Take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <sighs> Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood, the goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, 
there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say... Trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> Not timely. Her facial animations are ri Was really that a cool. Lock I saw leaving just now. <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. Like the eye part, it's really. I cool. wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. I only just noticed it. My friend it. is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. I think everyone's only faces. Want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. The animations have got pretty cool. All of a sudden, didn't I notice said, it before. My friend is busy. The eyes and the. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ominous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Watch me. Thank you. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. I can Trolls? easily take it. Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. That I'm Lord Voldemort. But it's perhaps best I do that later. <laughs> and on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. I want more butterbeer. Can I talk to uh, Serona more? I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. She I is. can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arlo. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. Let's go for two hours. Rebellion. Uh, yeah, I watched my partner play this, and uh, she was doing the Gryffindor uh, playthrough. And I gotta say, the Gryffindor like area looks ten times better than my one. So I'm like, oh, I've got a, I've got an email. Come see me. I've discovered something in the locket found at Gringotts. Oh, that's where we found it, didn't we? Hello. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I, you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver. Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to? They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade, with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me, and he would have had Serona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Hmm, they do. Sir, so about the goblins at Gringotts. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. 
Mm. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. Okay. Uh. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. What? You know where to find me once you've finished. That conversation doesn't Seems make sense. Seems ones isn't as secret as it's believed to be. It would make sense if you didn't... If you didn't go there before doing the quest. Okay. There's no one in the school I'd be afraid to duel. I know, Sebastian. I know. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Okay, so we're doing... Accio! Levioso. Nicely done. Levioso. Accio. That was excellent fall. Kind of difficult to do that was. I'd say that's enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Cross Wands all set? Why, yes, it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? Hell yeah. I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. That kid's voice did not uh, match with the how they look. Did not match. Did not see that. Accio, potato. Levioso. Akio. Act like a winner. Levioso. Levioso. Ah. Akio. Oh, there goes my way. Levioso. Lumos. Protego. Stupid Lumos. Come on! Ah, 
here. Let me show. Don't shy away now. What to do? Victory is mine. I like the wand. I like how my wand looks. Bravo! I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you. But after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning. <laughs> or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you and that you found success in your endeavors. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. I'm not wearing any robes. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Okay. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. Got it. Good work. Uh, I haven't used Lumos in a while, so we'll replace that one for a bit. Levioso, incendio, accio. You like you try not to incinerate yourself. Hello. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Heckard. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That oh, said, well. I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig! I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office, five minutes. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Fair enough. I want to have a look at this thing over here. Right, I guess, what am I doing now? Talk to Sebastian. Sebastian, there you are. There you are. You promised me an explanation for what happened in the Three Broomsticks. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? I've never even met him. Perhaps he mistook me for another student. If you say so. I won't press you now, but you will have to tell me what's going on at some point. You might need me. So... Why were you looking for me? I need to find something for Professor Fig, but it's in the restricted section of the library. <laughs> he can't get it himself? He was called away by Black at the last moment. I suppose I could wait to get a note from him, but... You want to show some initiative. Precisely. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight and tell no one. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. Oh, we're going straight there. See there? 
That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. Got it. So we'll find that way. Silent as a grave. Don't worry, game. I'm invisible. I, I cannot see you. Don't give me away, painting. Is there like a time limit or anything on this? Just a bit more sneak. I mean, you'll notice the door open and close, won't they? Blast! The librarian's still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. Told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Good idea. You distract, I get the key. Understood. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. The key. Here it is. Is someone there? Is that you, Reeves? Sneaky, sneaky, quickly. That wasn't so difficult after all. Now to find that book. Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say. I suppose I can use Revelia. Yeah? Oh, the, the section goes down. Use a basic cast to last on detecting the light of your enemies. Oh, okay, cool. Ghost, don't let her see you. Ghost? What do you mean, ghost? Where? She can't see me anyway. Should be in the clip. No need for us to be skulking about. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Oh, because no. Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No. We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? 
I'll know it when I see it. You're being oh, 500 square. Secrets of the darkest arts. I'm impressed. It's probably not the one we want to be fighting. That's cool that you whisper it whilst invisible. shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't you... I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted Peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. I do. Revelio. No, not Revelio. Uh, it's the other spell. No, that's Lumos. Potato. No, repair. Who the hell would put that over a doorway? Oh my word! It goes on and on. This area does. Ah. Chest over there. Of course, traces of ancient magic. There must be more to this room. I'll just hold on. That's it. Probably shouldn't be doing this on my own, but hey ho. Where might this lead? Yeah. Oh, is that Ethereum or something like that? Whoa. Whoa. I suppose I can cast repair. repair. Is it just a blind leap of faith? Don't really want to. Rebellion. Ah, I need to wake up that rune over there. Maybe I need to use this room now. Incendio. Well, I did something. Not surprising. Guards at the ready. Protego. Leviosa. Accio. More guards. You cheeky man. Yeah, because they drop like agent magic kind of stuff. Yeah. 
think I'm full up on agent magic. Do that'll do. Rebellion. Eye of Newt Goggles. Incendio. Hits it, does it activate a certain thing? A certain time? Oh, <laughs> this must be the way forward, but to where? Rebellion. So that goes back and that brings that forward, right? Nearly there. Best keep my wits about me. Yeah, definitely. Crap. Hold on. I'm pretty sure there was stuff over here. Yeah, there was. How do I get over there then? I guess I gotta take these guys out first. Gotta remember stupefy. through this stuff and it absorbs into me? Now, I saw a chest over here. And I'm just wondering... That's how you do that part. I'm 
we got some solar protectors. Some are crazy sun protectors. I meant to hit the pot, but never mind. It is a book after all. The book. The book of the beast. Ah, oh, it's missing the page. Oh. What are we gonna see? Is that Hogsmeade? You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Might, that Professor might be that Rickwood, kid. Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As oh. it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too. But we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganok. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Oh. Are we like a descendant of hers? Sebastian. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. 
Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the Headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> She is Sebastian. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's. Ah. Fig, you have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section, as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh, dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still... I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the Ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. Fair enough. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Okay, oh, friend. And don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. I oh, know. So yeah, uh, thank you for uh, coming along on this long journey with me. And we will see you in the next one. Ooh, goodbye.